Hi everybody and welcome to the Racer Report with Head Coach Steve Prohm. Dave Winder with you here from the CFSB Center. Coach Prohm will join us in just a moment, but first kind of get you caught up on the week that was for Murray State. It all started Thursday night in front of a third straight sellout crowd against Southeast Missouri State. The Racers trailed at home for the first time this season by six, but came back with a great second half to win 81-73 behind 32 points from Isaiah Cannon, his third 30-point game this season. Then on Saturday, the Racers had a slugfest at UT Martin in front of a packed house, sold out Elam Center to watch that one as the Racers uh, didn't shoot the ball particularly well, but still won at 65 to 58. So it's 23 and 0 for the Racers and 11 and 0 in the OVC. It was kind of tough, you know, just, you know, coming back and, you know, just adjusting a little bit. And, you know, they had jumped on us early, but, you know, we kept our composure we did what we had to do and stuff like that. You know, we didn't, you know, we didn't get rattled. And that will take us in to another big week of basketball for the Racers. Both games on ESPN3 here at the CFSB Center this week. Thursday night against Tennessee State and then Saturday against Austin P. Big, big games for the Racers. Well, we're taping our show on a Sunday, so we're, we can't talk about the rankings, but we'll have those uh, later next week on uh, GoRacers.com. But head coach Steve Prohm is sitting with us. Uh, uh, two big wins for the Racers last week, 11-0 in the OVC, Coach, 23-0. and uh, You guys just keep finding a way to get it done. Yeah, uh, very proud of our guys. First and foremost, proud of them, proud of their resiliency. They've been resilient all year. Um, to be focused night in, night out for 23 games so far, and hopefully mm -hmm. a lot more as we continue to play in front of sellout crowds and continue to, whether it's 8 or 15 you win by, I'm very proud of these guys. Yeah, it's, it's been quite a ride so far. We're going to roll the highlights here from the uh, Saturday night game at the Elam Center at UT Martin. And, Coach, uh, every game right now is like an OVC championship game. Do you feel that when, when you come out on the court? It's, it's amazing. I came out uh, for the Martin game, and, I mean, it was packed. I mean, there was not a seat in there, people standing around the railings. You, you can, can see them up yeah. there right now. I mean, there just wasn't seats. And, Every game is like the conference tournament. If you've played in conference tournament championship games uh -huh. where everything's on the line, that's how it feels every game. And uh, we just need to continue to play and do what we do, and that's defend and rebound, and we'll be okay. Well, the Racers off to a good start. Ed Daniel hit a shot. It was 9-3. to three. Uh, Coach, 11 points, and I think it was six rebounds for Latrez Muchat in the first half. What a first half for him. He played good. He was big. He was big, and Zay Jackson was able to – Get some good penetration, find up for some easy baskets, and you got a couple tip ins. You see one right there, on cue, uh, right there. But he was he was very good for us, and we need him to continue to be good on the glass. And you were uh, very happy with uh, Brandon Garrett's uh, job in the first half. I thought he did a great job. You know, that's the one thing he hasn't been doing a great job of is rebounding the basketball per minutes played. And to play eight eight minutes in the first half and get five rebounds was huge. So hopefully he can have some carryover. And you see Stacy Wilson getting a layup. We need to have him continue to to uh, get his confidence to grow and continue to be aggressive like he was there. Well, he had a good game here. Here's another good dish by uh, Zay Jackson into Latrez Muchat, plus the foul. He missed the free throw, but the Racers were up 19-17. to 17. And, Coach, the, the reoccurring theme in this game was you were getting the best shot that UT Martin can give you, and they played hard in this game. Oh, they were ready. They were locked in, and they've been in a tremendous amount of games this season. There's been They've been a number of games they've had a chance to win with a minute or two to go. and. You're going to get everybody's best shot, so we've got to continue to keep our eyes up and, and keep focused. Uh, how about the look on Isaiah Cannon's face there after he made that steal and dunk? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a competitive, competitive kid. And, uh, you know, after Thursday night, he was a little worn down Saturday, but he was able to help get us through. Zay Jackson hit a three there. It was a 7 0 run. Murray State got it up to 10 uh, on a Stacy Wilson drive in, after uh, Long hits a shot there. It was 11-2 run, racers up 33-23 right before the half. You're up by 10 at the half, coach. Yeah, up by nine at the half, and, and we or got nine. down four in the first half, uh, I think 19-15 maybe, and I was really glad our guys responded. Ed and Ivan were both in foul trouble. We played small for a while, and the four-guard lineup gave us a big boost uh, on both ends of the floor, and uh, we're able to go with a good lead into halftime. So what uh, what makes you uh, pull the trigger on four guards during a game? Is there anything in particular you see that you decide we got to go with? It? Well, sometimes if uh, the, the, the matchups with the other team who they're playing, if they're playing four guards, uh, that that'll trigger it sometimes. But what triggered it Saturday was uh, Ed and Ivan both with two fouls. I really don't want to get a third foul on one of those guys that uh, I thought were big down the stretch for us. Okay, so now we're into the second half here. Uh, Long hit a runner across the lane. It was 41-32. 
And then you saw Zay Jackson hit a three, and then uh, Cannon finished up right there on the break, plus a foul. That put the racers up by 13. Um, actually, we're going to the half here, and then we're going to get into the second half. But, uh, Coach, in that second half, the racers built a 13-point lead. And, uh, you know, you had a feeling that maybe you were getting ready to deliver the knockout punch. But, you know, it, it wasn't a great shooting night, three for 17 from three. Uh, and you had a night like that against Jacksonville a few weeks ago where you hit two, but you also held uh, Jacksonville to two. Yeah. And, and on th Saturday night, UT Martin didn't shoot the three very well either. Yeah, you know, I was frustrated. I was looking up the scoreboard and I, I said, man, I said, there's two minutes ago, we've given up 50 points. You know, and a lot of that came from second chance points mm -hmm. because we didn't rebound the basketball well. Dane Smith hurt us on the glass with, he had nine offensive rebounds from the guard position. But, I mean, look at that crowd. That crowd is amazing there. I've been here six years and I told the reporters after the game, I've uh, been a part of three those teams. They've had three different conference championships teams play in that arena over the six years I've been here. Martin one time and us twice, and we never had a crowd like that. I mean, look, look at it. I mean, it, it is absolutely packed to the gills and people are standing around the, the top the top of the court. Uh, but that's kind of what the racers are in these days. Uh, it's, it's a championship game every time. Zay Jackson played a great game. He was great, man. He's really starting to find his way. He's got a great feel for the game. He'll, he'll come over, he'll tell me how he feels or what he thinks, and you know I'll process that and see if we something, something we need to think about doing. But defensively, he's good. Uh, he, he, he's small, so we got to work on boxing mm -hmm. out. Sometimes people can get some easy tip-ins against him, but he's tough as nails, and he made a big three in the second half. He distributed the ball well, and he's really starting to take the next step. Okay, so the Racers win it 65-58, to 23-0, and 11-0 in the OVC. We're going to take a break here in the race report with head coach Steve Prohm. Come back and show you the big win Thursday night over Southeast Missouri State. Advantage number 17, the area's fastest internet. This is Nicole. She wants to watch her favorite YouTube video. Not so fast, Nicole. Her slow DSL connection means downloading takes forever. Nicole's tired of waiting, so she's switching to New Wave. New Wave has the area's fastest internet, up to 10 times faster than DSL. Now Nicole can surf, download photos, and stream videos faster than ever before, without the wait. Thanks to New Wave. Blazing fast internet. Another New Wave advantage. Call today. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Murray State University's award-winning student-produced newspaper is online. Thenews.org is your hotspot for national news, coverage of events in the Western Kentucky region, and all things Murray State. Winner of the Kentucky Press Association first place best news story and second place best special section, thenews.org features something for everyone, including breaking news updates, daily videos, live racer basketball updates during the games, entertainment news, and blogs. The Murray State News arrives every Friday, and on thenews.org, you can stay up to date 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Thenews.org, the official website of the Murray State News. Hi, folks, and welcome back to the Racer Report here from the CFSB Center with head coach Steve Prohm. My goodness, what a season it's been for the Racers, 23-0, 11-0 in the OVC as we sit here today, and Thursday night's game against Southeast Missouri State, third straight sellout here at the arena. Let's go ahead and roll those highlights, co Coach, and, and take a look at it. And we, we just talk about the, the tremendous atmosphere that the racers are uh, playing in front of. Nothing better than uh, about 8,600 of our closest friends here in this arena on a home game. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot different uh, when you're playing this, this home crowd than, than it is when you go to Martin. And, and it's, you know, you got a ton of fans over there, but it's mixed. And so their crowd's getting riled up too. But great atmosphere. Uh, we got off to. Uh, you know, an okay start in the first half. Credit Simo, they did a tremendous job jumping on us. You know, we traded baskets for a while and they built an eight, 10 point lead. 
Yeah, they were ready to play, and uh, you know, I, they, they presented presented some problems with with Stone and Powell up front, uh, two of the best big men in the league. They are. They they presented some problems with them. You can see Ivan right there, really good jump hook, and we got to get him some good touches around the basket, but. Uh, transition defense, we weren't really locked in on that end. We, we decision making and just too many turnovers, 10 turnovers in the first half against, you know, SEMO's a good defensive team, but they're not just trapping and running around, uh, you know, just to where it's just making you make tough, tough plays. We just thought made some poor decisions, but credit SEMO for that. Well, this is with 7.51 to go in the first half. You see Ivan Aska uh, starting to get his offensive touch back, uh, scored a couple of shots there. But Murray State was down 27 to 18. Uh, Jawan Long hit some big shots for sure. That was a, a drive down the down the lane to, to keep it a nine-point game. Then he hit a three to cut it to eight. Coach, you you, uh, you trailed by six at the half. Uh, where would the racers have been without number 33 there in the first half and Ivan too? Yeah, uh, you know Isaiah. I didn't even know it. And I probably need to keep, keep better track of. He didn't have a bucket to the last five minutes right. of the first half. Right. And, I think that may have been his first one right there, but Jawan Long's been huge all year, and he, he's great getting the basket. The best thing he does is put pressure on the basket, and he was big, and then when Isaiah gets going, he, he gets going in a hurry, and, and then Ivan made some big plays around the basket. What was big is they got up nine, they got up 11, but my biggest goal was to try to get it around five if we could go in mm -hmm. a half. We got it down to six, and that was big. Okay, so now we're into the second half. We're gonna to cut to about the uh, 1454 point. Uh, the racers were down by 11 with 1722 to go, and then it just exploded. It was like there was a train coming down the tracks, and Southeast couldn't get out of the way. And uh, that's about the best stretch of basketball I, I've seen in a while. Yeah, right we, uh, we we cut it to four right out of the gates, and then they responded again, and they went back up 11 early in the second half, 16, 17 minutes to go. But I thought we got like we, we started making them miss. Mm -hmm. We started getting off in transition, and then Isaiah just had a special special performance. And like you said, it was a uh, you know it went to 46-35 to 59-48 in right. a hurry. And that's the one thing we can do. Our team's got you know what they say spurtability if we're defending and rebounding. 11:05 to go. That was the drive by Cannon uh, that put the Racers up by six. And then this was the corner three by. Cannon, his fourth in a row to start the half, uh, his uh, sixth for the game. Uh, racers up 59 to 48 there, uh, 11 point lead, but that's a lot of time left to play. Aska hit a shot with 6.35 to go, it was a long two, uh, kept it 11 point lead. Southeast cut it to nine, but that's as close as they could get. Yeah, yeah you know, credit our guys, man. What an unbelievable atmosphere though. It was electric in there. Um, you know, we're going to need another great support Thursday and Saturday this coming week. We've got two really good teams coming in here, starting with Tennessee State, who's in second place now and playing extremely well. But I was really proud of our guys. Uh, need to get them some rest today and tomorrow, though. Right. Well, the uh, racers kind of finished it off here uh, late in the game with uh, Ivan Aska getting the dunk that kept them with a 10-point lead. And Murray State went on to win it 81-73. to uh, it was the first time at half uh, this season the racers had trailed uh, at the half. Uh, what did you tell your team, Coach, at halftime? You know, you, you always uh, preach to them it's a 40-minute game. It's a lot of time to play. Yeah, even the whole game, it was, you know, hey, it was, you know, we were down at the 10-minute mark, 30 minutes to go. And the one thing I wanted to do was I didn't want to go in there ranting and raving. I wanted to go in there calm and just tell them the, the three things defensively we needed to get better at. and then the three things offensively we needed to get better at, and I thought they responded in the second half uh, because we took another punch. To get down right. 11 with 16, 17 minutes to go, we could have you know, wavered, but we picked it up on the defensive end, and we've got to be locked in defensively for us to be good. You know, uh, uh, football coaches tend to, to break the game of football down into blocking and tackling. <laughs> You know, yeah. uh, with, with you, it, it's it's two words: rebound and defend. That's it. You got to rebound and defend. And you know, I, you know, looking at this thing, we, we were joking with Dexter. I think Dexter Fields is having more fun with this than anybody. <laughs> if you follow him on the bench, I don't see him, but he's 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 great energy guy over there. You know, and looking forward to him next year. Yeah, uh, for for fans, uh, we haven't talked about Dexter very much. Uh, Dexter Fields transfer from UAB. He's with the Racers, practicing, going to school, and he's sitting out uh, this this season and he'll have a couple of years to play with the Racers next season. Uh, Coach, we got a little bit of time here before we, we take another break. Uh, uh, it just seems like this team is doing such a good job of staying grounded through this. How do you do it? How does your staff 
you know, I, I know a lot of it comes from the kids too, but I know a lot of it's coaching too. <laughs> and prayer. <laughs> and <laughs> a lot go. of prayer. Amen, brother. <laughs> um, you know, it's, you know, the thing I thought about the other day, you know, everybody just thinks you're supposed to be, uh, go over to Martin and just beat them 30 points. And, and we can't get caught up in all that. We need to just get caught up in winning games, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's by seven, or I don't even know the final now, seven or eight, or whether it's by 15. Uh, we can't succumb to all that the other outside pressures and uh, our guys you know they need a little rest right now but they've done a tremendous job with staying grounded and staying focused and just need to talk about it every day but we've got good character and good toughness uh, from our from our guys i think that's a big key absolutely well coach has been around me long enough and he knows that i use old sayings a lot uh, a baseball analogy here is it doesn't matter uh, how, how much you win by. In baseball, we used to say it looks like a line drive in the box score the next day. So we're going to take another break with head coach Steve Prohm here. Come back and hear from Ivan Askins, and Zay Jackson after the game at UT Martin. We'll do that next in the Racer Report. There is a new, unstoppable force in the universe of internet speed. Introducing Warp Wave, the next generation of high-speed internet, brought to you by the masters of internet service. New wave communications with speeds up to 50 megs. Warp Wave takes you faster than you've ever thought possible. Be the most feared online gamer in the galaxy. Stream video with no deep space delay. Download at speeds light years ahead of the competition. Call today and surf at warp speed with the fastest internet, period. Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Hey Racer fans, don't forget to check out GoRacers.com, the official homepage online for the Murray State Racers. We've got videos and uh, bios of all the kids for Murray State basketball and lots of other things too on GoRacers.com. Make it your homepage today. Back here on the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm. After the win over UT Martin, we had a chance to sit down during the press conference and get a couple of comments from Ivan Aska and Zay Jackson. They kept driving, you know, he was getting fouled, but, you know, wasn't nothing being called. He was getting a little frustrated. Isaiah couldn't get nothing to fall, so, you know, on me and Stacey decided, we, we talked on the bench, like, we got to go in and we got to step up, you know. We got we to gotta play better to pick the whole team up. Uh, Trez did a, a good job tonight, you know, just guarding on the wing and in the, in the post. But, man, you know, I thought he was going to have, like, 30 and 10, you know, how he started off. But, you know, Trez, he's a good player, and, you know, he works hard every day. And, but he did a really good job just getting um, the tip-ins, second-chance shots, you know, coming off the rim and stuff like that. But he did a really good job. But I wasn't shooting well, so, I, I mean, if I was the coach, I would have said the same thing. That's why I started <coughs> laughing, you know. And then when I hit the first one, I say, tell him to keep bagging up off me, you know. So I just made a joke out of it. Well, some good comments there from Zay Jackson, a uh, freshman from Hammond, Louisiana. And my goodness, uh, he has fit in so well with your group. Uh, and, it, you know, it's really – when you think about it, it's, it's not easy for a freshman to, to move up from high school to Division One basketball, but uh, he's a talented young man and just a great teammate. He's been terrific, and uh, he's grown up so much since, uh, since really July, since mm -hmm. he got here in July to now till, till you know, we're almost in the second week of February, and really proud of him and, and his growth, and as he continues to mature and develop, he's going to continue to grow into a very, very uh, 
good player here, and he's doing great things for us now. Well, one thing about Zay Jackson, uh, he, he's confident. He, uh, that, that's one thing is he believes he can play at this level. And, you know, yeah. sometimes that's the first part of it. You have to be confident. Yeah, he's got a swagger about him, you know, like people like to say. And, but he is a tough kid. Yes. I mean, he's a tough kid. He wants to be out there. He wants to defend. Uh, and he's got a good feel for the game, and he's got a bright, bright future here. Looking forward to seeing Zay Jackson as he goes along. We'll take another break here with head coach Steve Prohm of the Racer Report. We'll come back in a moment and check out the standings in the OVC. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. There's a new unstoppable force in the universe of internet speed. Introducing Warp Wave, the next generation of high-speed internet brought to you by the masters of internet service. New wave communications with speeds up to 50 megs. Warp Wave takes you faster than you ever thought possible. Be the most feared online gamer in the galaxy. Stream video with no deep space delay. Download at speeds light years ahead of the competition. Call today and surf at warp speed with the fastest internet, period. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Hi, folks, and welcome back to the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm here at the CFSB Center. Make sure you're making your plans to be here Thursday night, and I was going to say Saturday against Austin P, but that game is sold out, so if you're lucky enough to get a ticket uh, for Saturday, good for you. Uh, there are still tickets that, are, that remain for the Thursday night game, Coach, but we're going to take a look at the standings here, Coach. I want to just get your comment on it. Uh, the Racers could have a special week here. Uh, four game lead with five games to go. You can do the math and figure out what happens if you win a couple of games this week. Uh, but uh, you just look at it, everybody from second place on down, it's just like everybody's beating each other up. It's, it's very, very even in this league and uh, the, there are no off nights for anybody no matter who you're playing. A lot of parity in the league mm -hmm. uh, and it, you know, what you mentioned, it is a big week, uh, but it starts with Tennessee State Thursday, who I think is playing extremely well. and is without question one of the most talented teams in the league. And Tennessee Tech's playing well now. Tennessee State's playing well. Uh, CMOs, we saw them. They're very, very good. And uh, I know SIU Edwardsville can't compete. Is that right in the tournament this Correct. year? But, you know, they won some games. Jacksonville State's playing better. Uh, they just got slipped up the other day against mm -hmm. Tech. So, uh, you know, Moorhead's winning games. So, you know, a lot of you just don't know. And then Austin P comes in Saturday, and that's a rivalry right. game. So. And, and they're as talented as anybody in the league. You know, being picked first in the league, you're not picked first because you pick first because you usually got the best players. So uh, it's, a, it's a big week, but it starts with Thursday at Tennessee, with Tennessee State here and come out and let's get another sellout. Yeah, we'll get another sellout Thursday night. TSU with a big win at Southeast Missouri State Saturday, 75-72. And we, we know Robert Covington is one of the best in the league. They've got a bunch of great players on their team. Coach, uh, not counting Murray State or uh, UT Martin, Tech, Tennessee State, SEMO, Moorhead, EKU, Austin P, and SIUE are 26 and 6 at home in conference play. It's, it's tough to go on the road, as, as we're finding out. You've got to play good on the road if you're going to win. Yeah, I was listening to something yesterday. They said in the SEC, they had a, they had a stat very, mm -hmm. very similar. And the announcers were talking about, well, is this just like that in the SEC? No, it's like that everywhere in it's college everywhere, basketball. Yeah. Whether you're in the OVC, the Big South, the Conference USA, or the ACC. To win on the road is extremely tough. 
It's, it certainly is. Well, but we're it feels great. It, it really does. It really does. And the racers have uh, made it through the minefield so far. Can they continue going? We're going to find out this week. Uh, we're going to take our final break here with Coach Prom on the Race Report. Come back in a moment, wrap it up. We'll have Neil Bradley's best calls of the week coming up. Advantage number 17, the area's fastest internet. This is Nicole. She wants to watch her favorite YouTube video. Not so fast, Nicole. Her slow DSL connection means downloading takes forever. Nicole's tired of waiting, so she's switching to New Wave. New Wave has the area's fastest internet, up to 10 times faster than DSL. Now Nicole can surf, download photos, and stream videos faster than ever before, without the wait. Thanks to New Wave. Blazing fast internet. Another New Wave advantage. Call today. For more than 30 years, the NCAA Division I Football Championship Subdivision has helped athletes achieve their dreams. The dream of playing football and hearing the home crowd cheer time after time. The dream of competing for a national championship. The dream of an excellent education. The dream of becoming a leader. And the dream of playing the right way with sportsmanship. NCAA Division I Football. It's not a dream. Come see for yourself. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. We're back here to wrap things up from the CFSB Center with head coach Steve Prohm on the Racer Report. Glad that you've uh, joined us here today. Thursday night, 7 o'clock game against Tennessee State. Tickets still available. It's on ESPN3. Saturday is a sellout against Austin P. Uh, 7 o'clock game there and on ESPN3. So, uh, coach, a big week here. You go back to practice this week and keep trying to get better, right? Yeah, we'll take it light Monday. Uh, guys need some rest. Uh, it's been a, been a tough week, physical week. and. Um, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll get prepared for Tennessee State. And they've won five in a row. Just looking at the sheet, mm -hmm. they've won five in a row in conference play and playing extremely well and in second place. So I uh, need a great crowd because it's going to be a very, very tough game. Yeah, it'll be a tough game. Uh, racers at home this week invite everybody to come out. Coach, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it, Dave. Appreciate it. Head Thank Coach you. Steve Prohm, this is Dave Winder. We'll see you next time on the Racer Report. And as we leave you today, the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. He had a good week, too. <coughs> for pool. Gets it to Long on the sideline. Long finds Cannon. Wide open three at the top. It's good. You can't leave him open like that. Oh, he's too clutch. 14-26. Most of this crowd on its feet making noise. Cannon three for the tie. It's good. I hate to say I told you so. 46 all. Nathan has ESP and we have ESPNU. And a tie, it's 46 all. Daniel the rebound, in transition, leaves it for Cannon. Cannon stop and pop three, it's good! Wow, Cannon with the Cannon! In transition, four on two, drives by his man, leaves it for Cannon for three, and my goodness, he hit another one!